Hello everyone, Marianne here, Revealing Light Tarot Astrology and Spirituality. How are you? Wherever you are watching in this world, hello to you. Thank you all for your feedback on my most recent readings and of course that e-bike ride that I went on yesterday uh, and took you, took you, my viewers, along with me. Um, it is a measure of how well I'm feeling now. Uh, I, I never stopped riding um, while I was unwell. Uh, with asthma and various other autoimmune issues going on. Uh, but um, they were always a, a bit of a hard slog. Now when I go out on a ride, it is the most pleasurable, pleasurable thing for me to do uh, and uh, also good for my health. So thank you for coming along with me yesterday. That uh, video is in my um if you scroll through my channel, you'll find it It was posted yesterday. Easter weekend here in Australia, very peaceful time for me. Uh, in fact, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a time that I, I enjoy even more than Christmas. There just seems to be a quiet, certainly where I am, that comes over the world and uh, gives you time to, um, to savour. I think savor, uh, savor the moment. Now uh, I've got my grandson. It's Easter Monday here. I've got my grandson coming uh, on uh, later on, uh, coming to visit later on. In fact, I'll be babysitting today for uh, for his dad. So um, this won't be a long reading. So let's get right into it. I've heard a bit of uh, chatter uh, on military channels that NATO is putting thousands, I think 15,000 troops into Ukraine. This comes on the back of the Polish and the um, French uh, president, prime minister, really calling for troops, NATO troops, to go into Ukraine. The Italian prime minister has said, cool it, Macron, uh, we're not sending troops into Ukraine. Vladimir Putin again has threatened, you know, uh, Armageddon <laughs> if uh, if they do put troops in there. Well, he's, he's threatened uh, great reprisal if they do. So I can't verify uh, that NATO have got um, thousands and thousands upon uh, troops uh, in Ukraine in the mainstream media. So take this with a huge handful of salt. But we're going to ask the question today, also want to move to the Texan uh, red heifers that were sent to Israel. Rather a bizarre story, all tied up with the solar eclipse coming on the 8th of April. I'll do that reading later on in the week. Suffice to say that uh, many are saying in these kind of conspiracy-like channels that this is, you know, the going to be some kind of Armageddon coming and it is no doubt a, a powerful uh, solar eclipse. However, uh, I don't get the impression that it's going to be uh, portend the end of time. But back to the Texan red heifers sent to Israel. Why on earth would Texas send red heifers to Israel? Well, it has its roots in fundamental fanatical religion uh, that uh, is interpreted in a way that um, to me is just utter nonsense but to many uh, to many it, it they take this sort of stuff seriously Texan evangelical Christian evangelical sent the red heifers unblemished totally red heifers over to uh, to extreme extremist fanatical religious group in um in israel and uh basically these red heifers are to be slaughtered in front of a holy uh islamic mosque and that would then uh trigger the second for the evangelicals the second coming of christ the messiah um and bring on some kind of holy war uh and the Jews would then be risen up um, and reunited with uh, with Jesus. So I kid you not, they are building an altar to slaughter these red heifers uh, within eyeshot of the um, the Islamic mosque. I think it's the Al-Aqsa mosque, which is considered a world holy site for Muslims. Um the uh, amongst Jewish uh, Zionists, I guess you would call them, 
they want that mosque destroyed and the original uh, Jewish temple built back in that place. So let's just look at where all this religious burden overlay is taking us. The um, Hamas attack occurred on the fourteenth, uh, on the seventh of October, just a week preceding the eclipse in Libra in twenty twenty October Libra eclipse in twenty twenty three. I'll get to that reading, but my feeling uh, is more that we are going to see uh, eventually a more of a resolution rather than an escalation into a holy war. But, but we'll look at what the cards are going to tell us. The solar eclipse comes right through. Both the l recent lunar and solar eclipse comes right through Texas. That seems to be a pivotal, pivotal point there. Uh, I had an intuitive uh, prompt to ask the question, would Texas ever break away from the United States? We'll, we'll have a look at that. Uh, certainly whatever challenges law is uh, challenges to the federal laws that are going on Texas on in Texas or originating in Texas is very important at the moment immigration and of course the challenge to the abortion pill if we've got time we're going to look at uh, just an update for King Charles um, for my UK viewers and Commonwealth viewers Canada and uh, Australia um, to take a look and see how he is is going he he actually attended an Easter service um, we'll just take a look in terms of Princess Catherine you have all my past readings she is now undergoing chemotherapy um, and has released her statement and um, it's a hard road for her, uh, but I have every hope and belief that she will recover from this illness. All right, let's go to NATO. A lot of bird life around me this morning. They seem to start their cawing as I'm as I'm reading. Um, now the deck that I'm using is a new one. It's the Astro Matrix Tarot. I chose it because I absolutely love phoenixes all right nato nato troops in ukraine i also am going to oh well i'll get to it i won't ask that while i'm shuffling okay is not has nato put thousands and thousands beyond just training there are nato troops training in ukraine soldiers i'm talking about thousands and thousands and thousands. Has Ukraine put 15,000 or thousands and thousands of NATO, uh, has NATO put thousands, 15,000, that thousand or more troops into Ukraine? Has NATO put thousands of troops into Ukraine? Has NATO put... So what I'm seeing is like the, oh gosh, the Gulliver, um, Gulliver's Travels, anybody know that story? So that was a giant that came to a land where little people were and the giant was overcome by, uh, um, was was pinned. Well, he wasn't a giant. He was the same size as we are. Uh, and uh, But he was captured by the little people um, because there were so many of them. Interesting. Okay, Gulliver's Travels. All right. Has NATO put thousands of troops into Ukraine? So I just saw quite... Anyway, I'll get to that next. I saw quite a large rocket. Um, perhaps we'll find out where that's going to. So we get the Ace of Pentacles. There's certainly money for military aid, uh, obviously, um, going in to Ukraine. Ace of Pentacles and Strength. Wow. Uh, it seems, well, it's possible. Uh, they are yes cards. Um, it seems to me that they're not backing down. The Polish and the French president 
saying we we won't let Ukraine lose this war and we we want NATO troops in there. Seems to be that they're still uh, thinking about money here, providing Ukraine with money and lots of it um, to strengthen their uh, their war efforts. But they're pretty strong, yes, cards, the strength card. Let's see how uh, what else is happening. So the foundation of this reading is the Nine of Swords, and that's anxiety. And of course, I've read um, on this time and time again that if uh, Putin wasn't stopped, he would march into other European countries and also the Baltic countries because he is hell-bent on reforming the uh, Soviet Union, the USSR. USSR. He does want that. And there's a high, I want you to understand that in Europe, there's a high degree of anxiety. It, or, you know, coming uh, from Germany, from France, from Poland, in relation to this, high degree of anxiety. So the Six of Cups is the past and it is difficult for us to understand where we are in America and Australia how close the memory is of Hitler. In fact, I've heard, I've heard interviews comparing Putin to Hitler but how close all of that memory is. The past, reforming the old Soviet Union borders, taking away sovereignty. Do we doubt that? Well, he's doing it in Ukraine. The Three of Cups coming together, coming together, unity, support. There's also celebration as well. Interesting card to pull in the sky. We have the Page of Wands. They're talking about it, I see, at this time. There could well be plans to do to do that. Uh, there's certainly... Um, some sort, some sort, I'm going to say there's some sort of contingent gone into Ukraine. Not a large contingent. This could still be training, a training um, a force or platoon uh, going in and training uh, the Ukrainian soldiers. But it seems to be that there's a lot of talk about, about sending more. So we have the star here in the here and now. Uh, and that is always about hope. Always about hope. Let's see where this is taking us. And then we have the chariot. Mm. Okay, in the environment around. Uh, there's a, a huge potential for, Na for NATO troops to go into Ukraine. At this time, at this present moment, there is a lot of talk about it. As we know, some of that is public. They already, I think, do have a smaller contingent in, in, in Ukraine. So we have here the Hermit card in the hopes and fears, and that is isolation, that Ukraine would be isolated. I heard Zelensky say they are trying, given the aid has stalled in the US, they are trying to find ways of not retreating. So it's a very, very serious situation there that not just concerns Ukraine, but concerns Europe as well, and NATO. The outcome card is the Nine of Wands, so I don't get the feeling. That's barriers, uh, boundaries, the wounded warrior. I don't get the feeling that a larger contingent is there yet, yet, but there are talks about putting barriers up here to, to halt Putin's Advance. Now we get quite an aggressive energy coming through the Knight of Swords. So this could, this this is something they're talking about, uh, and the Ace of Cups. Um, and the Emperor control. Well, that that is Putin, and then victory. Okay, so they they do not want. They have interests vested ideologically morally in every other way in stopping putin's advance in ukraine they are now talking about this because ukraine has been weakened by the maga congress refusing to pass aid 
it's given Putin a second life and Europe is pushing back. NATO is pushing back. Queen of Wands, yeah, there's definitely, definitely plans. So more aid uh, perhaps coming through. Could even be, there's something around the fighter jets and NATO. So, uh, yeah, the NATO could be training um, and others training the Ukrainian pilots. But there's something else here. Uh, so there's a lot of resources being ploughed uh, by Europe into Ukraine, to helping Ukraine. New starts. And then we get abuse, the wheel of fortune. I think, and then Russia. Okay, so this is a very, very critical. I want to say this is an extremely critical time for Ukraine, for NATO, against pushing back against, uh, against Putin. I think that Europe, NATO leaders are really talking very, very, very seriously about more assistance. Now, what do they know that we don't? So these cards are pretty much all yes cards in the outcome. I asked, does, do they have thousands of troops into Ukraine? I do believe there's been a movement of some sort soldiers into Ukraine. Now, whether this is under the training uh, arm of NATO for Ukraine or whether it's something more, I can say for certain that Euro the European leaders are deadly serious about stopping Putin's march on Ukraine. And they are talking serious, quite seriously and deliberately about sending more soldiers into Ukraine. Because if you look back at my readings, you've, you will know that I saw clairvoyantly the image of a baby and I said Ukraine's having trouble getting enough soldiers to, to fight the Russians. And then I think a week or two later, as often happens with my readings, because I am clairvoyantly tuning into current events, the Zelensky announced that they were running out of manpower. Okay, so um, I want to now go to the bizarre red heifer story. Before I do, though, uh, do you recall in my one of my last readings or recent readings, I talked about seeing Netanyahu has talked with a... Russian general, downturned mouth. I went on the internet afterwards and I found exactly this person. Look at the mouth. Now, my clairvoyant image really was from there down and Spirit highlighted this downturned mouth to me in my clairvoyant image about Netanyahu somehow having a link to this person, whether it's in the past or otherwise. This is the butcher of Syria. It's a Russian general and hits the bush, as I thought, a Russian military person. This is the butcher of Syria. He was responsible for the uh, Russia's scorched earth um, offensive in Syria, taking out mosques, taking out hospitals, taking out community infrastructure, indiscriminate bombings of homes, uh, and then, uh, obviously, with nowhere left to live or be or exist, the Syrians uh, then laying siege after everything was destroyed, nowhere else to go, and, uh, and the war was basically won. Interestingly, what, where do you think that parallel comes from? It comes from what Netanyahu has done in Gaza. It's the same strategy. So, the Butcher of Syria, you can go and look him up. Uh, that is definitely the man with the downturned mouth that I saw Netanyahu, Netanyahu linked with. Okay, um, let's move now, yeah, to the Red Heifer story. We'll stay in the Middle East here. Quite bizarre, takes in Texas in the US. So, uh, it, it has its uh, genesis, as I said, in a, a religious, uh, biblical story. 
um, around the, the Armageddon and the second coming of Christ. I mean, honestly, <laughs> honestly, um, no. The way that I see the astrology, and they're linking it to the upcoming eclipse, the way I see the astrology is that the uh, 2023 eclipse marked, obviously, the beginnings of uh, the uh, Gazan Israel Hamas, I should say, and then uh, Hamas attack uh, and uh, terrorist attack, and then uh, the retribution, uh, the scorched earth retribution in Gaza. That, that the protests to get rid of Netanyahu because he, they feel he's failed them, the protests in Israel just grow and grow and grow. Uh, it reminds me of, you know, almost a mob type of uh, feeling there in Israel now that if they got hold of Netanyahu, I'm pretty sure they'd... they'd anyway. OK, let's go back to the red heifers. Um, we've had an ex-Hamas leader say that when those red heifers came, were sent from Texas to Israel in 2022, September 2022, that then left them with no choice but to provoke this attack so there's a holy war type of feeling for coming from both sides um and of course at the center is is the al-aqsa aqsa aqsa mosque uh in jerusalem which is i think the third holiest shrine in in you know to muslims in the world uh and these red heifers then uh, raising Jews up um, and reuniting them with their with with Jesus, uh, and then bringing in the ev Christian evangelicals in uh, America. Okay, so um, the red heifers, big altars being built to slaughter them within the eye shot of the mosque. Now the Israel, I want to make it clear, the Israeli government does not support destroying the Al-Aqsa Mosque at all. Uh, in fact, Israeli soldiers guard the, the mosque and I think only Muslims can go in there. Anyway, let's have a look. Texas. Texas. Did you see that orb when I said Texas? What a bastion of a state that is. All right, the red heifers sent to Israel. <laughs> All right, let's just ask the question. To me, it's uh, it's BS. Uh, that's to my way of thinking. Uh, I feel that the eclipse highlighted in 2023 was the beginning of this terrible unfolding of events in the Middle East. I do feel that the solar eclipse eventually will... that we're moving into uh, eventually... I'm not saying that something... More won't happen in the meantime, but eventually we're moving into a a resolution. All right, so let's have a look. Does the Israeli government have any plans to destroy the Al-Aqsa Mosque? Or is it just religious fanatical nonsense? I think they're quoting from their Bible of Numbers, something like that, where this has been laid out as what? Israel must do um, and I think the Christian evangelicals there's some portion of the Bible that refers to this but as usual there's so much man-made uh, misinterpretation and fit getting things to fit their idea their, I was going to say uh, oh, well, no I won't swear but their um, rotten ideology. Okay, so <laughs> rotten. Let's see. Does the uh, Israeli government have any plans to destroy the Al-Aqsa Mosque? Does the Israeli government have any plans to destroy or damage the Al-Aqsa Mosque? Or does any, I should say, does any nefarious player have any plans to destroy this mosque. The five of Pentacles left out in the cold victim victim status and justice. Wow. Yeah, holy justice indeed. 
Um, but this is, yeah, this is this kind of energy um, in various degrees on on both sides. Um, and we get judgment here. We get the phoenix here, an inevitability here. Uh, there's a redress happening. There's a redress. Uh, and it, is it for Jews to be to destroy that mosque or and what is this redress as i said even though we might have explosive events we're moving into a resolution judgment portends change much needed change inevitable change karmic change now i have the two most karmic cards in the deck already on the table and it is a redress in the balance of power here okay that's what that's more what is going on we have hierophant in the past the religious can be um, religious institutions can be government that's in the past crowning this reading is the queen of swords she's coming up more and more and more in my readings the divine feminine rising moving forward into a new era this fire energy, North Node in Aries, new beginnings, new, not old, but new beginnings. Now we have disappointment, three uh, cups are lost, one cup is remaining. I can already say no, they don't. Uh, and we get um, the war in, in the Middle East, we get death, but we also get retreat. Now remember the energy, even though it could still be explosive, it may take one more shocking event. It will ultimately re result in a more balanced, more balance of power, a more balanced power there than what is currently. So we have here the Nine of Cups. We have miracles, wish fulfillment. <laughs> what are they wishing for? I'm sure there are members of the government that are wishing for this. Page of Pentacles in the hopes and fears. And of course, obviously, the world would not support any action that would damage that mosque. No, they're not. And we, we get loss here, walking away from loss in made the world major endings and beginnings i told you what the energy was and we get the devil card obviously fanaticism religious fanaticism which becomes in its most fanatical form toxic and that's the texas link it's not some some biblical nonsense misinterpretation yada yada it's actually the outrageous, the cruel, the fanatical, you know, like that Inquisition type energy. But it is, it has come up against a barrier uh, across the world and we've rejected that. We haven't bought into it. So even though, as I said, events might get explosive, it is... It is going to be resolved into a more balanced power sharing in the Middle East. I just that's what I can say about that. We get the um, the outcome is the world card endings, and then we get new beginnings. So down in Texas, just like in the fringe of. Jewish religion in Israel, we get fanaticism, violent religious rhetoric. So let's go to Texas. I don't know why I'm including this, but I wanted to include it. It just came to me. Is Texas thinking of seceding? From the United States, will tech is Texas thinking, planning on breaking away from the United States? Is Texas thinking or planning to break away from the United States? We have people actually working on it at the moment. I'm seeing scholars 
They're writing with their quills, so they're examining the Constitution. Is Texas thinking or planning of breaking away from the United States? It's where I, where I, I went about 18 months ago. So we have the Knight of Truth. It's a very, Knight of Swords, very aggressive energy, the Knight. And then we have the Knight of Cups, interesting, two Knights, an offer. Are they trying to drum up support with other states? Yes, they are. We get the Magician, Manifestation and Manipulation. Oh, yes, cards, the Page of Cups, some kind of bombshell is in the past. So... In relation to this question, look for the clues in the past, the past, the challenging of the uh, abortion pill. Uh, there's a particular appeals court um, in Texas that is outrageous. The immigration laws, they've got people working on it at the moment. Um, the timing of it could be around the uh, election if Biden is re-elected, which I do feel he will be the high priestess working in secret. They are looking at the constitution, working out ways that they can do this. So three cups remaining. They've got one ace up their sleeve. What is this? What is this ace up their sleeve? And I feel that the Trump campaign is also involved in this as well. Three of Cups in the atmosphere around. I think they need to get more states with them. They, they're trying to get more states to come on board. King of Wands in the hopes and fears. So lawmakers, trying to get lawmakers with them. Um, perhaps even in Congress as well. And we get the Hierophant, the Supreme Court, going all the way to the Supreme Court. Many of these cases are testing the, uh, are testing the authority that Texas thinks it has. But this is trying to find a way of making Texas the authority. We get giving and receiving help, federal funds. They get the federal funds, and we get, um, we get. A loss, a loss of money, followed by the Six of Pentacles. They would lose federal funds, and then we get the Trumpian connection. Wow. Trump then becomes illegitimate president of the red states. It's, it's something bizarre like that. So we get almost like a treasonous energy here. My card for the Democrats. I think the Democrats are aware of this. Uh, and we get national security, um, resources, and here we have the plan, defending the plan, and then we get judgment and inevitability and the world card. So, yeah, absolutely they are looking currently at this. They're trying to get other red states with them. The Trump campaign is tic-tacking, uh, and this all, I think, will go down around election time. The Supreme Court card is there, so it will be resolved in the Supreme Court. Biden is the current president. Uh, and, of course, even though there will be or could be this um, this energy around the election, uh, there are many positives still at play. Uh, the United States is still is still a nation of laws, although it is has been weakened and battered by the ex-president and those that walk with him in his shadow. Okay, Texas, the red heifers, the ex-president. Okay, as I said, explosive events, but the energy is more moving more toward balance. Please remember that. Okay, King Charles' uh, health update, just quickly. I said this is going to be a quick reading, and look at me. All right, well, I do tackle complex, uh, complex subjects. Okay, one of these days I'll do a 20-minute reading and shock everybody. All right, so King Charles' health update. King Charles, what, what's going on with you, King Charles? King Charles, King Charles, the parting of the seas here. I'm still in the Middle East, for goodness sake. Um, well, I'm still at, in, in 
division. Um, all right, let's shake it off, please. Shake that off. King Charles. King Charles. King Charles. But I have a King Charles update. There's been a lot of family conferences going on. Um, there is a particular... Uh, What's this? It's like a fountain somewhere. It's in front of Buckingham Palace. Um, a lot of family conferences. Okay, so can, I have an uh, update on King Charles's health. That's all I'm going to ask. Can you show me how King Charles is doing? All right, good. Six of Swords, moving out of troubled waters. That's good energy and new plans and new starts. So he's currently talking about, okay, when I return, I need more hands on deck. Who are we going to get in? It's it's very much around who's steering the ship, how we want them this to unfold in the coming years. There's, there's a huge planning going on uh, at this time uh, amongst the royals and the, their staff, the Seven of Pentacles, um, they're needing to come up with new plans going forward. It won't be the same as before, and this could in this could mean that um, younger royals might be brought back into the fold. Uh, there is talk around Princess Eugenie and Beatrice coming back in, but also don't be surprised if we see Prince Harry doing some kind of event for his father okay i just want to put that out there please do not bring me your crap around i hate harry i hate me and i hate Catherine. i hate william yada 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 don't bring it here all right i'm telling you what i'm feeling the star card hope a lot of hope there um for for him it is around it is around work share uh, and taking the pressure off him and I would suspect Princess Catherine uh, and trying to manage the um, just what's coming at them at this time, trying to stabilize things, trying to present a stable type of front. They are dealing with what has happened in the recent past, the Seven of uh, Swords. Um, that's not good energy. That's in the present. Uh, they're trying to address that, um, the toxicity, absolutely, uh, in the here and now. They're trying to address that. And that's also his chemo, his, his cancer treatment as well. The devil can often come uh, forward there with that. Uh, when the body is under siege. Hopes and fears, a lot of hope. He's got a lot of hope and he's actually quite touched and overflowing with this emotion around the support that he's been given. Healing, healing, the temperance card, moderation, balance and healing. Oh my goodness, such that's good energy. And it's also healing of dissension. And obstacles and competitiveness and, you know, partisanship. It's healing of that. This is kicking it up to a higher level. And then we get the moon, uh, volatility, uh, emotion, trying to sort this all out and moving forward uh, very objectively uh, rather than emotionally. There are going to be reunifications within the royal family. Absolutely. You're going to hear about it soon, new announcements to strengthen the monarchy, whether this is bringing in the uh, Andrews daughters, uh, uh, bringing Harry back uh, to perhaps do some events for his father. I don't know what it is. There's a healing and trying. King Charles is trying while he's healing his own body, which he's doing a good job of, is trying to bring healing back into the royal family. Quite extraordinary um, what is going on there at the moment. Anyway, that's it from me. Uh, I'm off. I'm out of here. I'll return later on in the week to do this solar eclipse reading. Ugh. See you.